Welcome to a game between Jam Time 360 and uh, Ser O oh, or Ser Zero maybe. Uh, Jam Time requests this replay, and uh, Zero goes uh, for tanks, and Jam Time wonder how can you counter tanks when they go Kodachis. And you can see here, jam time's start is a bit slow. You should make the factory first. You can place it even before the game starts and the commander will immediately start to uh, make the factory. And then you can also queue out metal extractors. And since the first instant factory is free and instant, it's gonna be built very quickly. So this is a rather slow start from uh, jam time. Um, yeah. So we just place down the factor first, and then a max, and you try to avoid the commander walking also, because now it had to walk the max. Jumping to the next max with a recon commander is good though, you were saving quite a bit of time uh, doing that. This enemy started with Kodachis, and countering Kodachis with uh, Cloakabots can be tricky. Like the Kodachi will burn. Uh, the glaives if they're chasing down the Kodachi. You don't want to try to chase down a Kodachi, you want to surround the Kodachi with like three or four glaives. And then you want to uh, kill it effectively without taking too much splash damage with the with the glaives. Three, four glaives is a good number to counter a lone Kodachi. And you can see here Jam time is, yeah, he has a Lotus turret, so this helps a lot against Kodachis and his commander, so that's pretty good defense. Uh, but still, he's not spending his metal, he has 450 metal in the metal so, uh, yeah, that could have been units out here, like more mixes and more glaives. So he's really wasting a lot of time that could be used better. Let's see, yes, now he's uh, kind of trying to chase down the Kodachi, and that means uh, that's not good. On the other hand, the Kodachi can't really chase down the Glaives. Um, it's a thing where the Kodachi, it has uh, not an instant projectile, so it can't... So if the enemy is running into it, it can get basically extend range, and if the enemy is running away from, from it, it gets less range. It's quite significant with the Kodachi compared to, like, Glaives. So that is something to keep in mind, that you really don't want to be chasing a Kodachi. Well, the Kodashi is not that good at chasing other units as well. And two Glaives against two Kodachis, that's no match for the Kodachis. The Kodachis could basically chase down the Glaives in this position. Although they're not, uh, the Kodachis are not that much faster. As you can see, they're almost the same speed. The Kodachi is just a little bit faster. So relying on glaives have to be done with great care, especially uh, especially as the Kodachi number grows. Um, yeah, because in high numbers you can't really counter Kodachis with the glaives. Because the splash damage uh, of uh, Kodachis is just too great against uh, the, fra the, the relatively fragile glaives, especially when they're bunched up. So it is a losing position to keep spamming out glaives against the Kodachis. In lower numbers you can kinda counter Kodachis with the glaives by surrounding them. In higher numbers, not so much. And yeah, and also welders are also a bit tricky to kill with the uh, glaives. You can try to abuse the terrain, but he accidentally ran back in there and lost three glaives, four glaives, he lost all glaives. Like, uh, tanks are a bit slower in their slopes than glaives and cloaky bots, so you can try to run up a hill to save your units. That's a pretty good idea, actually. So at this point, um, yeah, you're a bit behind in expansion, and you still have a lot of metal that you could have spent. So if you look at metal produced, your enemy is a bit ahead of you, as well as the even more ahead in metal use, because, yeah, the enemy is spending all the metal, while you are not. You're, fi you're gonna get a care taken now, that's good, because you need to eat in order to spend that metal. But yeah, you really spent a lot. The thing you did in the start was not building a factory at first. You build a factory first, that's why you are so behind in metal spent. 
uh, because you didn't make the factory first. And yeah, and then it's expanding pretty good, so yeah. And here comes the Kodashis and five Kodashis against six Glaives, that's no match for the Kodashis. This is really problematic to counter. At this point you should be starting to make Reavers or uh, Ticks. Like yeah, you lost all these Glaives, you only killed uh, one Kodashi and the Lotus Turret killed another one. But yeah, once you get them behind your back like this, two, three Kodachis, yeah, you're having a, you're having big trouble. And you're losing your caretaker, that's the thing that were, was going to get you back in this game by spending your metal. And now you're probably going to almost excess metal again. So yeah, you're still not managing to chase down this Kodachi. Um, yeah. So yeah, warriors are a bit slow and can be fairly easily avoided by a decently skilled players. I mean the Reavers. Uh, Reavers, uh, they're the right units of the Cloakable Factors. And they work if the enemy drives into the into the Reavers. Uh, but they can only protect a so small area. This could be nice for you though. You could get this factor because there's no support here for these uh, this factory. So that's a sneak move you can make as uh, Cloaky Bots. The other defense is, t is Imps. When enemy has several um, Kodashis, Imps are one of the best way to counter Kodashis. Uh, and in this situation you're running away from the Kodashi and that's a wrong decision. You want to be going around the factory and trying to hide from the Kodachi behind the factory. So you don't want to face the Kodachi on open ground like this. You would probably, just by going around this, playing a ring around the Rosie, going in around this factory, you would probably have destroyed the factory in that situation. I don't think the Blitz would have been up in time. And also, if you're standing next to something when the Kodachi is firing at your sight, yeah, he's also damaging his own factory. So that's also cons something you can consider, like... Uh, yeah, like placing a glaive right next to a metal extractor against Kodachis when you're raiding, that's pretty decent because, yeah, like, yeah, if the Kodachi is killing the, the glaive, it might as well kill, like, deal another 200 extra damage uh, against that metal extractor. And that might be the difference between the, fa the mechs going down or not. So yeah, here the commander, yeah, he has invested a lot of metal, almost a thousand metal into this commander. Um, and that's gonna be a bit troublesome for you. Glaives are a pretty good counter. Oh, it has a right cannon. Okay, yeah, you can't use, really use glaives against that. That's a pretty strong commander. But yeah. Uh, imps, they're a good counter because you can, when you see a lot of incoming uh, Kodachis on radar, you can place imp where you expect them to be. And if the enemy gets close, you can like stun 3-4 Kodachis easily and then clean them up with the Glaives. So Imps in conjunction with Glaives, Glaives and Lotus Turrets is really good against Kodachis. And that's one of the things that makes um, Cloakybots uh, competitive uh, against uh, tanks on this map. So this Reaver, is it getting slow? Yeah, it's getting slow. That's pretty bad for the Reaver. It's going to decrease its DPS in half. And now it can get overrun by these units. That's also a thing you should fear, like Blitzes. If you have a lot of lone Reavers spread out on the map, trying to counter Kodachis, yeah, it can also get run down by Blitzes and killed one by one and stunned. But yeah. But it depends on the situation. If you're advancing forward with a bunch of Reavers, yeah, it can be pretty hard to counter the Reavers. Oh, sometimes I refer to uh, Reavers as Warriors because that's their old name. Hmm. Yeah, and at this point you're really far behind. Yeah, you have less than half the value of your enemy. That's, yeah. Yeah, in late game, when the enemy has a lot of uh, Kodachis and Blitzes around, an attack with a few Glaives, or, well, this is kind of a lot of Glaives, like 13 Glaives, is not likely to do much. Um, let's see here. 
like you get to see the area of effect, it's just gonna destroy. You kill one or two, three Kodachis, yeah, and then your army was gone. So yeah, you don't make costs that way uh, against tanks when they have uh, Kodachis out and Blitzes out. If you can make the Kodachis chase you, yeah, it's pretty good. But on the other hand, what are you gonna kill? You can kill a few mexes while being chased by Blitzes or Kodachis. But yeah, the Welders have a lot of HP and there might be Lotus turrets, so... It's hard to raid against Kodachis, Blitzes, Welders and Lotus turrets. So yeah, but the main thing that got you behind is the metal use at the start of the game. You should make your factory first. Uh, and then you should also have a mech queued up directly and maybe a few solar collectors as well. And you should spend that metal faster. Uh, like you can see you were more, even though he wasn't that far ahead early on metal, on metal production, you were further behind in metal use, so yeah. Did you ever access? Yeah, you accessed in the mid game, so yeah, that's not too good. Yeah, and also as a, yeah, like tr it can be tricky to counter Kodachi's early game with uh, glaives, but you can do it with a good surround. But it requires a bit of timing and micro, which yeah, it's easier for the Kodachi player to raid you than it is for you to counter raid, and uh, yeah, and destroy the Kodachi's. So and later in the game you can't really use pure glaive against Kodachi's. You have to use imps in defense or or push slowly with reavers or a good unit in general against tanks is the Zeus. Uh, I mean the knight. The knight is pretty good against tanks in general so it's also a unit you can think but yeah you, you have to push you have to force the enemy to come to defend somewhere to apply pressure because otherwise the kudaches can just drive around it so your best mobile counter is glaives and then expanding with lotus turrets and then some imps or reavers in uh, defense at positions yeah so those are my tips for you and good luck and have fun